Hello, welcome to 3ds Max News. On these videos, we are checking all the news around 3ds Max, this time for the month of April. Let's start with 3ds Max itself. We had a new Max 2A that is giving support to Arnold 6.2.1. On this update, machines with a lot of cores under Windows, the Toon Shader is up to 4 times faster. We get progressive rendering that is faster with adaptive sampling. Imagers as well are faster and use less RAM, Light Mixer supports now up to 256 light groups. On the GPU side we have a sparse volumes that thanks to nano VDB technology integration it use way less RAM. Also we have faster subsurface scattering, reduced VRAM on poly meshes and multiple improvements on USD. As well on the Mac side for TypeFlow users all the problems that we had rendering material IDs are totally fixed. We had as well a new 3ds Max Scene Security Tools that has been updated to version 2.0. If you are on Max 2022, you will see a message that will pop up when you open 3ds Max that notifies you about this update. The tool has been rewrite to C++ to be more flexible and robust and detects and cleans a new variant of the ALC malware. People from Autodesk as well created a list online where you can see all the plugins that has been updated for 3ds Max 2022. And we had a lot of plugins that are ready for this new version. You can see all the complete list on the links that I will share below on the description. Some of the very popular ones are uh, Forest Pack, Rail Clone, Thinking Particles, Typeflow, V-Ray, Phoenix, Corona, FumeFX, Substance, Kinematic Lab Tools, Marius Tools, and way more. Check them out. On the section of what's next, we talk about some sneak peeks that we have on what's coming for 3ds Max. Recently we had the GTC conference by NVIDIA and we get some of these sneak peeks for the next 3ds Max viewport. We get the OGS that stands for One Graphic System and it's a shared graphical solution for all Autodesk applications. The current OGS started on 2007 under DirectX 9 and it's what we have currently on 3ds Max but the next version of OGS has been in the works for a while and on this talk they are discussing what they are doing with it. This new OGS we will be constructed around modern APIs like DirectX 12 and Vulkan and also it's constructed around open standards like Material X, USD and OSIO. And as well will be a decoupled architecture thanks to Hydra that it's a part of USD. The new OGS will bring rasterization rendering but as well for the first time ray trace on 3ds Max viewport. And mostly because it was an NVIDIA conference they talk about the retracing part that is what we will be able to see on this talk. They showcase a first the noise ray trace scene with constant 30 frames per second. Uh, it's a fly through a uh, tunnel and it works really smooth. And we get a first ray trace example in 3ds Max. On the left you have the standard viewport on 3ds Max. On the right you have this OGS with ray trace. They are instancing objects, changing uh, materials. It has not the noising implemented, but you can see that we will have very soon ray trace on viewport on 3ds Max. If you want to get techie, check the talk, it's very interesting. You need to register, but it's free. Let's see free resources. Max Roger keeps adding more OSL on his GitHub collection that you can grab all of them for free in 3ds Max or for other applications if you want. He updated recently his OSL flick map to create flicks based on a Boronoi pattern and as well his tree planner OSL, where you can map objects without need of UVs. It has multiple improvements over the existing tree planner solutions, like it's visible on viewport, you can break patterns with noise, and it's possible to automatically create multiple randomizations across multiple objects, and works over particles as well, has been tested on Typeflow and Arnold. So, perfect solution. Virtual Museums of Malopolska added over 1000 scan assets with PBR textures on a Sketchfab under public domain license. So you can check them out, you can download it for free and use it on any project co even if it's commercial. Really a lot of cool assets uh, available for everyone. Clothify Pro for 3ds Max, Marius Silagis keeps creating amazing modifiers and now it's about cloth. It's a non-destructive cloth modifier that handles everything in real time. You can work with soft selections, vertex wakes or vertex colors. Also, any deformation applied underneath the modifier will affect your cloth. So you can work with usual 3ds Max modifiers like Edit Poly, Skin, FFD, Bend, Path Deforms and others. The tool costs 80 euros. 
EFL Turbo is a plugin from Boomer Labs that is available as a public beta. It loads images into RAM, promising between 3 to 8 times faster playback. Ideal for people that need to work a lot with background sequence. Camera Studio is a plugin to select multiple cameras on different places that they are static and it will create automatically an animated camera that will transition between your static cameras from one to another. It's a script that costs $19. LuxCore Renderer has been updated to version 2.5. It's a very popular Blender renderer, open source and free, and has a major updates like optics and RTX acceleration. Non-uniform camera bokeh, new AOVs, randomized texture tilings and rotations, and a first version is available for 3ds Max now. Let's see the updates on existing plugins and scripts. We had Cindy that updated all his collection of plugins for 2022 and as well supporting Corona 7. Some of his popular plugins are Ignite Collection, Sculpt, Unite, Cyclone, and Disperse Scatter. I was not aware of Cyclone, so here I will show you what it's doing. It's a parametric modifier to create easily all types of arrays. In this example, they showcase how useful it can be to create handrails and fences from just splines. They offer 40 models for free of handrails. They are on the description links below. Phoenix 4 has been an update that it's update 4. Now comes with active bodies that interacts with water using bullet solver, color absorption for greater control over a smoke, a new massive wave force for highly realistic ocean sims, support on motion blur using V-Ray GPU, faster renders and simulations, and as well 3ds Max 2022 support. Max Copy Paste by Crea 3D allow new possibilities for copy paste function in 3ds Max. Very basic, but very useful actually. You can choose if you want to copy or clone without dialogues, you can paint as well, you have a clipboard history, you can clone over a surface, and copy paste on different 3ds Max files. This script costs $19. Deadline is a popular farm manager by Thinkbox that has been updated as well. It's very interesting that on this update, it allows to run Deadline for free for up to 10 artists at the time, instead of the previous two, making it possible now to be used for free in way more small studios. Seb has updated as well PSD Manager to version 5.0.3, now with 3 Max 2022 support, as well they added V-Ray Light Mix that can be saved as layer group for light mixing, V-Ray 5 color corrections can be saved again as an adjustment layer, and After Effects data rollout and multiple bug fixes. New section as well, 3ds Max is only for ArxBit. I decided to start this section for things where Max is used and it's not architecture because we know that 3ds Max is very used on building visualizations, but it's as well very used in other areas. So today we have this amazing rigging setup by the talented Clovis guy and other than the fantastic blend shapes, he also created a custom modifier to drive the lips sticking between them totally procedurally and in real time and I found it's an awesome detail that most of the times you don't see on animations and it gives a lot of realism. There is one and only Tyson Ebel, and all his creations are outstanding. The Typhlow creator posted this amazing artwork piece, simulated with Typhlow, obviously, and yeah, it's awesome. Like a huge high-res simulation of cloth with self-interpenetrations, and yeah, amazing piece of art. A Will Story by Ben R.C. It has a total and unique style. 3ds Max is not only for ultra-realistic renderings. Ben created an awesome illustration looking image with the help of 3ds Max and Photoshop. I really love the style uh, created. V-Ray 5.1 Masterclass. If you are looking to master V-Ray, look no more. MoGraph Plus provides what it looks like to me, one of the most complete and affordable options to master V-Ray 5.1 inside 3ds Max. 75 lessons with more than 900 minutes of complete training covering lights, materials, cameras, render settings with updated information regarding the latest V-Ray 5.1 version. You will have the link below. This is an affiliate link, so buying it through this link you are helping me as well and it will cost exactly the same to you. FMX is approaching, taking place online from May 4 to May 6. Hundreds of interesting talks available everywhere and Autodesk has a selection of talks also prepared for FMX that you can check on the page that you can see here. 
I will be doing a talk together with Logan Foster, 3ds Max product owner, talking about retopology tools and their uses on visual effects. I hope to see you there. Next month, don't miss the 3ds London meetup. It's taking place May 5th and it's called A Night with Autodesk and Friends. There will be 3ds Max developers together with well-known 3D artists like Zero Cardoso and Thomas Marron. They do it live on YouTube, so you can chat directly with other people interested with 3ds Max and with the people presenting. So it's an awesome time to ask things directly to 3ds Max developers. Where I work at Scanline Visual Effects, we are hiring all types of positions covering 3ds Max. We are looking for FX from artists, leads, supervisors, but also people from LookDev. We are looking for the locations on Montreal and Vancouver. There is a ton of work and there are positions available from everywhere in the world. We have locations in LA, Germany, London, Singapore. Check them out because there are a lot of positions to cover. If you like these videos, please remember it's very important that you share it with your friends, give a comment, give a like. It helps a lot to the algorithm of YouTube to spread more of these videos. And thanks a lot to all my patrons that supports me doing these videos. Thank you guys. See you soon.